All right, so I forgot to actually ask Chris about College Game Day for Week 7. Obviously, College Game Day will be at Red River this weekend, but uh, we got to go through and kind of figure out exactly what they are going to do next week. Uh, I thought this might be a good week for them to go through FCS uh, visit, right? They've done that before in the past where there's not a huge game going on between the Power 5 schools and whatnot, so it could possibly be... Uh, A spot for an FCS upstart or an FCS power, James Madison, uh, Sam Houston, you know, et cetera, et cetera. A bunch of them are on the road. So I don't know that they're really going to do that. I went through and looked at the schedule. Uh, Let's let's go through and think about what they've actually got. I think a big game might be uh, NC State at Boston College. It's an ACC network game. It seems like they're trying to get more subscribers, uh, more people that will actually want the ACC network because they are putting Notre Dame and Virginia Tech on it this week. Next week, that's a 6.30 p.m. kick for NC State Boston College. you got two teams with only one loss each. Both are possibly in the running for the ACC title. Possibly. I mean, I know Boston College uh, just got beat, you know, late by Clemson last week. But either way, that is a... uh, that is a possibility. You do have Kentucky at Georgia. If Kentucky were to beat LSU and Georgia were to beat Auburn, that's two undefeated teams, two top 15 teams at that point. So that's a 2.30 CBS game. But what we figured out here is College Game Day is preferring to go to sites where they have uh, the media rights for whatever game it is that they're going to. So, And I can totally understand that. So that's a CBS game. I don't know if they would really want to do that, especially because they just went to Athens a couple of weeks ago for Georgia and Arkansas. So uh, Oklahoma State at Texas, the time has not been announced for that one. If Texas were to win their game this weekend and Oklahoma State were to win their game, that is a battle of an undefeated team against a team of one loss. Uh, but anything could happen in Red River. And do you want to go to Texas when they are coming off of a loss and already have two losses on the season? So that could be a little crazy. Uh, Auburn at Arkansas, if Arkansas were to win this weekend, yeah, maybe. I could I could probably see that. Um, but then you've still got a one-loss Arkansas team, and Auburn likely coming off of a loss against Georgia. Now, obviously, if Auburn wins that game and Arkansas wins that game, that could be a massive, massive game. But either way, that is an 11 a.m. kick, uh, likely going to be on ESPN. So we uh, we shall see on that. Where I think that they will go, would actually be UCF at Cincinnati. I know UCF is not all that great, but this is two teams that are moving into the Big 12, and Cincinnati is the darlings of the G5 and have been for two years. Right? They did go to Coastal Carolina last year when they played against BYU, but they have not been to Cincinnati yet. And they did go to UCF a couple of years ago when Cincinnati came into town, uh, or maybe three years ago, whenever that was. I think that this is the spot because otherwise you have to wait for Cincinnati to get all the way through the season and hope that on November 20th, SMU is still looked at as a really good team, a ranked team that's going into Nippert Stadium on a Saturday uh, on November 20th. I think this would be the spot because ABC has the game. You go to Nippert, you go to UCF Cincinnati, and you go ahead and give Cincinnati the love that they uh, so rightfully deserve. Uh, this is not a massive game because, obviously, UCF, quarterback injury, etc. But I think that that's the way that they will likely end up going is they'll probably go to Cincinnati this week. That would be my guess. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.